On this video, I will be discussing the evolution of atomic theory. Atomic theory. So, there were five models of the atom, you could say. From Democritus, which was the first one, to the last one, which was Rutherford. I'm going to explain each of them as the video goes on. As I said before, the first atomic theory was proposed by Democritus. So what he said was that matter must be composed of individual, indivisible particles. And well, in Greek, atomos means indivisible. And there's where the, the word atom came from. So atom came from the word indivisible. And that's what Democritus said. That there was just like matter was composed of, of individual indivisible particles called atoms. The second theory was proposed by, by Aristotle. And well, it wasn't his best theory, let's say. He said that that it is impossible for nothing to exist. The universe is comprised of four different elements. The first element being earth, then air, water, and fire. And although it may seem really as something that no one would believe, it 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 actually stood by for two thousand years. And well, as you know, it, it isn't true. Not ever, we're not made of earth, air, water, and fire. So Aristotle was way off. Now the third theory was proposed by Dalton. And Dalton said five things in his atomic, the atomic theory proposal. As Democritus, he said before that uh, Dalton said too that matter is comprised of tiny particles called uh, of tiny particles called atoms. So atoms. Then he said that atoms are indivisible, as Democritus said too. He later said that atoms of one element cannot be converted into another element. So, no conversion. He also said that atoms of an element are identical in mass and properties. Properties of one element are different from those of another. So, you could just say elements... are different and the last thing Dalton said was that compounds result from the combination of atoms from different elements so compounds but as we know today all, all of these points are, are wrong they, his theory was wasn't really true and well his his theory is just represented by by a ball which would be the atom the fourth theory was proposed by Thomson so four. and his theory has the name or or his model of the atom has the name of the plum pony model of the atom plum pony It is something like this. So it will look something like this picture. And what he said was that atoms consist of a solid bulk of positive of positive charge 
with, with electrons dispersed throughout. So the bulk would be all of the pink area. All of this would be positive. And you can see the, the, the little yellow electrons all around it. Like, you can think of it like a bread with raisins. The bread, which is like the dough, would be the positive charge. And it will have, like, stuck to it, the raisins, which would be, which would represent the, the electrons. Which, of course, hold that negative charge. And, um, well, his theory was disproved to later by Rutherford, which is the fifth theory. So, as I just mentioned, the fifth proposed theory was done by Ernest Rutherford. And he was able to discover it by using a gold gold foil experiment. So his model of the atom looks something like this. And well his his model of the atom is is said says that the positive charge is concentrated into a small nucleus nucleus of it's just positive charge and instead of the electrons being stuck to it it's they're or, orbiting in, in their orbits so it is totally different from what Thomson said before there's a nucleus with electrons orbiting around it and those are the five theories of atomic theory